Hello, Slavs, May Games students and all other students interested. We are continuing with our uh, inventory, game inventory tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn some elements needed for drag and drop techniques in uh, inventory. So, when you want to change places of uh, some inventory elements, you will uh, firstly know to need some things. If we use this inventory, for example, uh, we, if we want to change places of uh, some kind of, uh, of elements, we will uh, need to create some uh, drag and drop code so we will move, move element from this place to some other place or only to free place. So we will uh, now start with uh, this short le uh, lecture. For this lecture we will uh, use uh, one of our buttons. Uh, let's create a uh, button pressed signal. After that, uh, we will need one uh, sprite. So let's create one sprite. In this uh, sprite node, uh, for example, uh, we will uh, use a similar uh, image uh, like image in this uh, first button. So we will uh, load uh, this kind of texture and uh, we will change visibility for this uh, sprite to hidden so you can toggle a visibility on any place you want and after that uh, we will start with some simple coding we have function here on button pressed and uh, we can uh, get some uh, data about position so we will create one variable for position and this position will be position of our one of our node so we will use get node name of the node is name of our first node here this is generic name and after that we will use one method get local mouse position get local mouse position and just test it to see how this work in our output window we uh, will uh, watch our output window here and if we click somewhere we get position but if we click on other place we get other position so we receive position of a mouse pointer on a screen this is one of uh, coding, ele coding elements uh, needed for our continuous work. Now, when we have position, we can use node uh, sprite node. So we will use again get node and we will search for sprite and uh, we can try with uh, set position method this method need the vector to variable so we have it here and uh, uh, with this uh, variable we are setting sprite position and only what we need after that is uh, this sprite to be visible 
So set vis uh, visibility or visible. Fortunately, I forget it. I think visible, uh, set visible, it's okay. So sprite set visible will be true. And uh, let me test it. We get position and as you see, as you see here, we have element on position. Also, we can change the image of this button to be empty because we uh, want to, to change position of this element. So, uh, next step uh, will be to change texture of uh, this field. Thank you for your attention on this short lecture of course we will continue with uh, this tutorial goodbye and see you